There's one big thing that most of us fish keepers have in common. Even though we love our tanks, our setups, and our decor, after a while, we just get a little bored and we want to change it up. Today, I want to experiment with a brand new look. We're going to add some aqua decor bamboo logs into the tank to give it a little splash of color to go with the greenery that's growing up above the tank. Hopefully, it scratches my itch for the need to change things around and it's going to look good. Let's go. But first, what we're gonna do is install this brand new back panel root system to my 29 gallon. Check that out. Nice. Nice and slim and thin. And the back of it here has got these suction cups. So all you gotta do is press it onto the back glass of your tank and this will stay right on there. Check out how it came. It came like this and you just gotta unfold it it's gonna go just like that in the 29 gallon. Aqua Decor's new product, pretty cool looking. And then on top of this piece, while this piece is on the background attached to the glass, then they send some extra pieces of root for you to attach to the back glass and create a three dimensional look so you can have the roots at an angle. Let's do it, it's gonna be dope. This is my 29 gallon quarantine tank. As you can see, it's completely empty except for the water and a sponge filter. And we're going to quickly and easily put this brand new uh, root system right into the tank. Don't even have to drain it. Here we go. Squeeze the suction cups to the back of the glass. Push back on it. Suction cup holes right to the back. Each little branch, each little root. And that's it, that baby's installed. Now, we grab our little extra pieces of root and we can design them however we want for a nice 3D effect. Check it out. hollow inside so you fill them with water so that they sink. Check that out. Instant 3D decor setup. As simple as that, one, two, three, you could turn any tank into a three-dimensional specimen. The Aqua Decor back panel roots. Give you guys a nice side look. Check it out from the side. You can see the three-dimensional of it. Spruce up any tank really quickly. Looks beautiful. Very simple to install, and now you don't have just a bare empty tank. Of course, these come in multiple sizes. They are custom made to fit your exact tank size. So don't think that this is only for a 29 gallon tank. I have to give them my measurements and this is what they created. You could also change the color of the root system. You could get them darker, you could get them lighter. Aqua Decor takes care of all that custom work for you. I will make sure to have links to this back panel root system in the description below. Bamboo log. Nice and long and thick. Pause. Look at that. Oh, let's go. Oh, we got a bunch, baby. Aqua decor in the building. Check out all those bamboo logs. They're going into the 150. Let's go. Check that out. Nice hollow piece of bamboo. 
very realistic looking. Let's line them up over here by the tank so we can get a good kind of display layout of how they're gonna go. So these thinner pieces actually have a nice little base so that they can stay supported on the bottom there. And if you're thinking these pieces might be really heavy or made out of some weird material, I don't know what material they're made out of, but they're definitely not heavy. This thing is like a wiffle ball bat, but very solid and sturdy. Look, I could hardly squeeze it and they're all hollow. Now we're ready to get busy on the 150. What we're supposed to do is put some kind of adhesive glue on the bottom here to secure it to the bottom of the tank. But what we're gonna do is dry fit them first just to make sure that I like the layout and the design before committing to gluing them down wherever they're gonna end up. So let's, let's get at it. First thing I wanna do is remove these logs that are in here because they might be in the way. Yes, these are also from Aqua Decor as well. You know what I'm gonna do before installing these? I'm actually gonna give the tank a nice vacuuming of the substrate while I'm already here. You guys wanna see a whole entire video of how to vacuum your tank properly? That video is gonna be right up there for you. My sand substrate movement style. Let the tube suck up a whole bunch of sand as you push it over, see all that sand? And then when you pinch the hose, you drop it where you want it. Now you might think that these big old pieces are gonna float, which they will, but because I could do so smart of making them hollow, as soon as they fill up with water, they sink right to the bottom. Bloop. So what I'm using is the log itself to kind of dig the sand out of the way to secure it at the bottom. So far, here's what I got. I didn't add all the bamboo sticks. I thought it might have been a little too much. So I only added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sticks. And I'm thinking that because they are the perfect height, they all reach all the way to the top glass here. And the top glass as well as the substrate below is pretty much holding them in. I think I'm gonna just let this sit for a few days with me and see how I feel about the bamboo color, the new look of the tank, before gluing them in and making them permanent. The fish right now are a little bit worried. They're like, what is this stuff all in my way? But they're doing all right. He already got really light and now he got dark again already. So he's making some color changes. But I really like the look right now. It's got a very nice 3D dimensional look to it. I just gotta let it sit with me and stare at it for a couple of days. The green of the bamboo with the green of the plants on top. Maybe I add a couple of fake plants inside the tank as well to give it some more green. So before some of you ask, because I know that you will, what I'm really trying to do is capture this greenery that's growing up above the tank and kind of complement it with these greenish bamboo logs inside the tank so it all looks like one very nice looking piece. I'm trying to zoom out as much as I can so you guys can get the whole picture all at once of what I'm trying to do here. Because I also need to figure out what I'm going to do back here with all of these leaves and vines. This stuff is all over the floor. It's huge. I might decide to lift these guys up and maybe put them on the wall back here. I can't put them on the closet doors because I'm constantly in and out of there. So maybe they hang up above, but I kind of want that space for something else. But we definitely have to do something with this greenery over here because I've got a forest growing back here on both sides all the way behind the tank. So I want to complement all this green 
with some more beautiful green. Check out the nice side view of the logs. See, my guy got all his color back when he was a little lighter earlier. He was a little stressed. And you guys already know if you wanted to test out these bamboo logs for yourself, links will be in the description below. So you saw how easy it was for me to get them in there, put them wherever I wanted to. The only thing left for me to do is to actually glue them into the bottom glass of the tank to make sure they're secure. Yeah, they'll probably stand up fine on their own and not knock over, but I'm sure when I do my water changes, especially when I bring it down to 80%, they're gonna tip over. So I'm gonna sit with this, like I said, for a couple of days and make sure that I like the new look of it, that I like the layout of the bamboo. So far, so good. And once I do decide that I really like it, that the fish are doing okay with it, then I'm gonna go ahead and just glue them in place. Now, because I really like the three-dimensional look that these logs give the tank, I'm actually gonna try another completely different set of logs in the 450 next week. So if you wanna check that out, boom, that video's right there. Before you go though, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the other side. Peace.